if you take us back to the first eBay's, mm -hmm. uh, although we were optimistic about the future of business aviation, I don't think any of us could have expected to grow the way it has done. No, it's been phenomenal, really, especially if you look at the last three years. It's been really growing at a constant rate. And the numbers do bear that out, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, when you think, throughout the 1990s, we were stuck at 2,000 mm -hmm. aircraft. And since the first eBay's in 2001, the fleet's grown to over 3,000 aircraft. Well, and if you look at the current time in Eastern Europe, you know, Russia especially, uh, mm. they, they really are buying a, a lot of business aircraft and are utilizing them at the same time. But that, that, that is the interesting part because you do see, and I think that is one of the reasons for the growth, is that businessmen basically don't want to spend time at airports anymore uh, with all the associated problems there. They need to go further afield globalization is, yeah. is a fact and then they need to go for businesses they need to develop new sites they have to find labor we have a shortage of labor mm. so they're going to find it mm. and they're going to use business aircraft to get there well i think the pace of uh, you know everyone said with well, the electronic age you mm -hmm. won't have to travel so much well actually you have to travel almost more yeah. and you've got to get there more quickly yeah. and uh, you know we do offer point to point travel exactly as long as uh, people know exactly where they want to mm -hmm. go. I mean, London's a perfect example. Yes. If you want to go to the city, you can go to City Airport. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to the west of London, you go to Farnborough or Northall. You've got all these choices. Yes. And I think, you know, when you cost out the total uh, cost of travel, mm -hmm. then actually the business aircraft, particularly if you have four or five people on it, mm -hmm. is no more expensive and a great deal more productive than going commercial. But also the effective time. If they do use a business aircraft, they can sit down, they can go through their meetings, they can prepare well, they can check their presentations, they can check their documents, and even call their offices and say, we need some information mm. quickly. Mm. All done on a business aircraft. So they're actively working even in the aircraft. Yes, it was interesting. One of the studies I think the NBA did and showed you were more productive in an aircraft than you were in your office because you didn't get all the phone calls. I, I can imagine. Yeah. But also, you can, uh, you can prepare for the meetings, yeah. you can debrief after, you can have mm -hmm. the report prepared. And if you're marketing a product, you can actually bring the client to your base to have a look at the product as well. and yeah. take him back again. Everybody. I think one of the interesting things is, is the way that the, the value of business aviation is now being recognized. Mm -hmm. I mean, the paper that was issued at the beginning of this year, the Agenda yeah. for yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sustainable Business Aviation, I mean, that's the first time we've ever had proper recognition yeah. Um, for it. And I think, again, because this reflects on, on the fact that people are prepared to admit they're using business aircraft. Because in the past, it's always the Admiral's barge yeah. thing. But now they're seen as yeah. a business tool, recognized by the Commission as a business mm -hmm. tool. And uh, so I think we'll just see, it's almost as if the momentum will continue to grow. Now, eBay has actually been growing even faster than the growth of business yes. aviation in yeah. Europe, hasn't yeah. it? Because it's been yeah. 15 to 20 percent. Yeah. And the first show in 2001 was, what, 3,700? 3, yeah, and last year it was more than 11,000. And, uh, and what, what do you think we'll get this year? I would guess 14,000. Wow. I think the strength of eBay is that you, you've made a very important point. It's not just the, the professionals talking no. to other professionals. No. eBay is the show where people come and buy aircraft. Yes. Um, yeah. we, we, we have a saying, don't we, that some shows are tyre kickers. <laughs> yeah. And eBay is not a tyre kicker no. show. It's no. about people who come... No. And buy. Well, that's the exciting thing. We even had to enlarge the uh, static display area at Geneva Airport to accommodate the 61 yeah. uh, aircraft. And, and as you say, they come off the street and they see this entire range of possibilities from the very light jets, the Mustang, the Eclipse, uh, the Phantom 100, to almost the 737s. And, and, and the Airbus uh, 318s. Yeah, and also we've got uh, helicopters, of course, on, on, on the special yeah. display area yeah. just outside I'm always the glad to you the ex-helicopter pilot <laughs> because you know that so much well, better. I, I mean, as we've talked, helicopters yeah. are also doing incredibly well. And yeah. uh, because when you, when you think about it, for a journey up to 500 miles, mm -hmm. a helicopter is as good a way as doing it as anyway. Absolutely. And uh, it's a business aircraft. Yeah. When people talk about business aircraft, they automatically think of fixed wing. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's, it's, a, it's a transportation option. Yeah. And the helicopters do it as well as anything on, on short distances. So I think that uh, the increasing interest we see at eBay's with yeah. helicopters yeah. is very good. Very good for the yeah. customer, good for us. Access but I think the key for success of business aviation is twofold. We want to integrate into the airports with commercial traffic yeah. where it's appropriate, Absolutely. like London City yeah. and so on, and make sure that in, in terms of sustainability, that you know we are adding real value. Mm -hmm. And we'll come to that in a moment. Look Isn't at it? the airport where we're sitting right now. 
Antwerp Airport. It's been for a long time in existence, but the business in aviation there is growing all the time. Mm. Uh, there are two operators or two FBOs located here with a high number of aircraft, and from what we heard this morning, they're increasing the number of aircraft without even lengthening the runway. Yes. So it, it just shows that there is a market and that it will grow. And Antwerp is maybe one example, but there are hundreds mm. of aircraft, airports mm. like Antwerp around mm. Europe that could be used, mm. that have a large community base, a large industrial base, and that needs the services of business aviation. Mm. Now, of course, the other challenge we've got is the environment. Now, yeah. you and I know that in uh, sustainability terms, we're extremely good. I mean, we, yeah. as we, you've said, we're around 8% of the traffic, and we're less than 1% of emissions. But then again, Brian, I think we should take our responsibility, and we have focused on taking our responsibility as far as emission is concerned. And we've said, we want to offset it 100%, and we, I, I think we're working extremely hard to make that happen. At the same time, we should not forget that if you look at the business aircraft, what is the average age at the current time of the entire fleet in Europe? Eight years. Eight years. One of the youngest in the world, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Most modern engines. And who was the first to have winglets? Business <laughs> aviation. <laughs> business aviation, exactly. We've got a modern fleet yep. getting more modern yep. with very fuel-efficient aircraft. Mm -hmm. We've got the best avionics yep. to take advantage of all the systems that are coming in. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to make our carbon footprint smaller in the first place. Yep. And then we're developing a 100% offset scheme, mm -hmm. unlike some of the other yeah. operators, yeah. where we're actually going to offset the, the footprint in full. Yeah. So I think we've got quite a good story to tell, but we've got to go out and tell it, haven't we? But oh, I think the future is so exciting. I mean, oh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we're going to see growth, growth, no, growth, no, no, no. and more effective tools to help people do their job. You've joined EBAA as CEO. At the right time. You've joined at the right time. Yeah. And I guarantee that over the next 10 years, we're going to see bigger and bigger activities for EBA and for the fleet. Absolutely. And now we're going to fly.